so here uh, this video we are going to discuss uh, ac with resistor the another concept in alternating current is what should run ac with uh, resistor so ac circuit or ac voltage or current applied to the is a pure resistor okay so now we see that so this is some resistance r which is connected to a is a, a alternating source this type of symbol represents it is a ac source so the applied voltage is what children v is equal to v not sin omega t the ultimate aim for such type of things ac with resistor capacitor or ac with inductor or any any kind of circuit gives means we have to find out expression for i then uh, that is the main ultimate work for us so here from the ohms law i can say that i cannot put the direction of current here because we know that the current is keep on changing its direction so sometime it may be as yes, uh, upward direction other means a forward direction sometime it may be backward direction since its values keep on changing so that's why i am not pointing any current direction in ac circuit but you see that from ohms law i is equal to what children voltage by resistance voltage by what children resistance here what is the applied voltage so v not by r sin omega t yes we know that sin is just a number so left hand side current dimension right hand side should be the sin omega t has no dimension so this parameter should have the dimension of s yes, current if this should be the dimension of current means the numerator should be voltage dimension and the denominator should be dimension of the quantity resistance so therefore i can say that i is equal to i not s yes, sin omega t i is equal to i not what children sin omega t where i not is equal to v not by r i not is equal to what children v not by r so this is the expression for s current so as we said as yes, in the earlier videos as basic concepts this is amplitude of the current and this will be the s yes, phase vector of that so therefore the phase difference between the voltage and the current the phase difference between the what children voltage and the current say for example pi voltage and phase vector of voltage and phase vector of the current that is equal to what children omega t minus omega t that is equal to zero therefore phase difference between voltage and current is what children zero this represents what current and voltage current and what children voltage are in phase with each other what is the word in phase that and all is already explained in phase means they are varying in a similar manner the maxima and the minima will be attained by the functions or variables voltage and current simultaneously so now i am going to draw the as a diagram as for that so omega t so this is the always take the as uh, the voltage has to be a simple sine curve so therefore uh, this is a voltage equation as I say this along this axis you can take either voltage or as a current that is our wish so what what we said they are in phase which means that when voltage is zero current also zero when voltage is positive maximum current also will be positive maximum so but you just see that the amplitude of the current is lesser than the amplitude of the voltage because the voltage is divided by some as a number which is greater than 1 so because of that reason we can see that when voltage is zero current also zero in phase when voltage is positive current also will be positive but the amplitude of the current is lesser than the amplitude of the as yes, a voltage equation from this you can easily say that and when current is voltage is zero as yes, a current also zero when voltage is negative maximum current also negative maximum but the less amplitude in this manner we can what children plot the graph by substituting the values omega t has to be as yes, either 0 t by 4 s yes, or we can say that that has to be as yes, pi by s yes, s yes, 2 pi 3 pi by 2 s yes, 2 pi like that angle s yes, or time has to be t by 4 t by 2 3 t by 4 t 2 t like this, sorry t like that so we can put that so this is the graph for what children s yes, s yes, current this dotted line represents current variation this is the what uh, the time varying graph okay and the another graph is there that is called phasor diagram phasor what children diagram even though voltage and currents are scalar but the direction is keep on changing so therefore the variation of voltage and current can be assumed as to be a as a vector but they are not actually a vector quantity but their variation is very similar to 
variation of a vector quantity. For mathematical analysis, we can uh, compare that variation with uh, treated as to be a vector. The diagrams are generally called what children phase. So now you please see that if the, we know that in vector calculus uh, you may study that if the in general the, the diagrammatical representation when a line is uh, more length then its magnitude of the vector is more. So similarly here voltage has the more uh, magnitude therefore V naught and their phase difference will be zero that means the angle between them is will be zero therefore they are parallel with each other. So this is the phasor diagram but I put the short line for current because the magnitude of the current amplitude of the current will be less when compared to the amplitude of the voltage. So therefore this is the phasor diagram. So and this is the voltage diagram and the time varying diagram and this is the phasor diagram. Next one is in the previous uh, yes, uh, video we said that what is RMS value. The mathematical point of view we discussed that the RMS value is nothing but what children is uh, IRMS or VRMS that is uh, VRMS we just write that root of V bar square that value equal to what children Yes, that is equal to yes, V naught by root 2, V naught by root 2, we know that 1 by root is what children, 0 0.707, in percentage we can write that has to be 70.7 percent. Similarly, IRMS equal to what children, yes, I naught by root 2, I naught by root 2 or simply we can write that 0 0.707 is yes, I naught, similarly here also 0 0.707 v naught or in percentage we can write that is a percentage value so v rms can be written as 70.7 percentage of the maximum value percentage of the what children maximum value similarly i rms equal to what children 70.7 percentage of the is a maximum current like that we can represent that is our wish for the purpose of the calculation of the is uh, uh, calculation purpose of the calculations okay uh, yes now we please see that for calculation purpose we can use like that and the next one so what is the conceptual meaning for rms value conceptual meaning for rms value since as we said that the average value for one complete cycle of the ac voltage or current is zero so the normal dc ammeter or voltmeter cannot be used for that measurement. So what they are doing means, so let us consider there is some resistor, let us consider there is some what children, resistor, it is connected to some DC source, it is connected to some what children, DC source. So say some R is there, the current is flowing through the circuit has to be say for example some T seconds. Okay, so it produces T seconds, you are sending the current, say the current sending through that is, IDC for example I am send, I am keeping that IDC means amount of DC current passing through the resistor uh, which is passing through the in a time t in a time t seconds then we know that the power formula for uh, yes, uh, AC we can sorry DC current we can see that is yes, a uh, power loss in DC because whenever current is passing through the resistance there will be a energy loss okay so PDC equal to what children is yes, IDC square r that means i square r simply we can say that has to be what children i square r this is the case when current is passing through the yes, a resistor dc current is passing through the resistor now please consider the same situation yes some resistance r is connected to some ac source some what children ac source we know that current in ac is nothing but i is equal to what children i naught sin omega t i is equal to i naught what children sin omega t the current through the yes, ac with the resistor circuit now what i am going to do means is uh, yes, uh, for the same resistor for the same resistor in the same time interval now i am going to supply some i amount of current i amount of ac current in order to get the same amount of uh, power generated same amount of what children power generated therefore PAC that average power loss for one cycle average power loss for one cycle that is nothing but what children is I square is R that power value equal to what children I square R okay so R is a constant which which will not vary with respect to time therefore it can be written as as a PAC simply I can write like this that is equal to R into is IAC that whole square IAC that what children 
O square. So this is nothing but what children. So we know that I is there. Uh, that can be written as so this AC represents the AC current in the circuit. So therefore, R into this instead of I AC, that is I AC, I that is equal to what I am going to substitute I naught square. So I naught square what children? As a sine square omega t. Again, I naught is the amplitude. Take it outside. Therefore, as a as power loss in AC circuit, as average power loss for one complete cycle that is given by what children? I naught square R into what children? Sine square omega t. This is the time average, what I said, integral 0 to capital T, sin square dt, sin square omega t. This, this integration is nothing but, for your understanding purpose, I am writing that 0 to t, sin square omega t dt divided by integral 0 to t, what children? dt. You just evaluate that integration, you will get that answer has to be 1 by 2. So therefore, directly I can write this, so as yes, PAC that is equal to what children? I naught square into R, this whole value is what children? 1 by 2. That is equal to what children? 1 by 2. Yes. So this is equation number 2. So please try to understand children. What is the concept of RMS in physics point of view? Previously we derived in mathematical point of view. But in physics point of view, you are sending some I amount of AC current. Because the AC current is normally measured, you cannot measure by normal DC voltmeter, so for our ammeter, so that the, therefore we are sending some unknown quantity, yes, unknown quantity of AC current through the yes, given resistor for the same time T, for the same some time S yes, what children, T, the, then the average power loss in the AC is given by I naught square R by 2. In order to get the same amount, so for example this may be 100 watt, you just assume that 100 watt. In order to get the same as yes, a power loss in the DC circuit has to be 100 watt, I am sending some known amount of DC because this DC can be measured by using as yes, a DC ammeter normal in laboratory what we are using the normal ammeter or voltmeter that can be used. Therefore, the known amount of DC current is passing through the as yes, uh, given the same resistance value. Suppose this is a 10 ohm means this also. 10 ohm for the same time interval say this is for 5 minutes means this also for 5 minutes in order to get the same amount of power loss same amount of what children power loss so that means I can say that I can say that is yes, uh, power loss in DC circuit is same as to be power loss in what children AC circuit power loss in what children AC circuit therefore I can say that this is uh, IDC square R that is equal to this one is what children is I naught square R by 2 I naught square R by what children 2 and the resistance term gets cancelled out this DC can be measurable so that is equal to I naught square divided by 2 because the direct DC current can be measured by using normal ammeter okay you just to find the square root of this value so this IDC that is nothing but IRMS that is nothing but what children IRMS that is just take the square root on either side that is equal to I naught by what children root 2 I naught by what children root 2 as we said so similarly for voltage also we can write that as VRMS similarly we can write that VRMS equal to what children V naught by root 2 V naught by what children root 2 so this is the conceptual meaning conceptual meaning for what is RMS value of AC voltage or current. Yes, the power produced by the equivalent yes, AC circuit, which is same as to be the equivalent power generated by the DC current or voltage. That is called what children? RMS value in conceptual point of view. Yes, I hope that you may get the clear understanding about AC with resistor and what is the phasor diagram and RMS value in a physics point of view, not the mathematical point of view, in conceptual point of view. Yes, please note down students.